We are celebrating a special anniversary here at News Channel 9, 10 years of the extraordinary program. In the decade, Carrie Lazarus has taken us to so many fascinating places, so we thought it would be fun to look back at some favorites. Turns out, we don't even have to send her that far away from home to visit one of the most important people in American history's home. Although he spent many years in Albany and Washington, D.C., this house on South Street in Auburn was the only place William Seward called home. Hi. Hi. I'm Carrie. Carrie, nice to meet you. Jeff, welcome to the Seward House Thank Museum. You. Come on in. Today, the Seward House is a museum. 30 rooms revealing a rare look into the public and private life of the man who helped President Lincoln save the Union. We're going to start the tour in the formal parlor. Okay. This way? This way. All right. Everywhere you look, there's evidence of the man who traveled the world. Family treasures, including his daughter's beloved book collection, and more than 100 portraits of world leaders. So he met all of these people? Just about. Seward also met many slaves, hiding them here in the downstairs kitchen, which became a stop on the Underground Railroad. Desperate souls, freedom seekers, passengers on this network to freedom would be taken in as yeah. night was ending, sheltered by day, fed. This was William Seward's carriage. People in Auburn would often see him riding through the streets. Same in Washington, D.C., where President Lincoln would often accompany him. It was in this carriage that Seward nearly lost his life in an accident. A week and a half later, he survived an assassination attempt. The very same day, President Lincoln was killed. In the library, you see the bust of Lincoln Seward commissioned after his friend and former rival was shot. Seward brought it to Auburn from his office in Washington after he retired. Auburn is extremely, extremely proud of the Seward House Museum. It is an anchor institution in, in downtown Auburn, a highlight uh, in our tagline, history's hometown. 15 to 17,000 people visit the Seward House every year. Just this week, they had visitors from Germany and Finland. At the extraordinary Seward House in Auburn, Carrie Lazarus, News Channel 9.